Hi there, in this video I'm going to demonstrate one method for how you can get a cartoon character jumping a skipping rope using Cartoon Animator. Hi there, I'm David Arundel, otherwise known as the Extraordinary Tourist and sometimes known as the Lazy Animator. And in this video, which was inspired by a question in the Cartoon Animator users Facebook group by uh, Jared who was asking uh, how would you go about making a character skip a rope or use a skipping rope in Cartoon Animator 5 he was asking whether you would need to do it frame by frame using some external software and animate a jump rope that way and then bring it into Cartoon Animator or he was wondering whether there was some technique in Cartoon Animator itself uh, that you could use to achieve the same effect. I initially answered the question with a theory because I've actually never created a character jumping a skipping rope before. And what I proposed was perhaps making the jump rope a spine prop and animating that using keyframes that way you could have like a bone structure and perhaps that would be one way of going about it. The other way I thought of was just to simply import a straight vector line and then perhaps use full form deformations to uh, keyframe and animate the rope that way. And then I thought about it a bit more and decided to actually try myself to make a character um, skip a jump rope and that's how this demo came about it's sort of my process of creating the effect of this character jumping skip rope skipping rope and in the end I didn't use a spine prop and I didn't even use full form deformations to make my jump rope I simply used a vector line as I suggested but actually animated the line using the 2D uh, prop keyframe editor and just used the standard deformations that Cartoon Animator has had for a while for props anyway. So with that explanation we'll just get straight into the demo and I'll show you how I did it. So what I have here on the stage is one of Gary Pye's uh, lollipop characters. This character is called Ren. And to start with the first thing we need to do is make a prop for his jump rope. And this was another thing that Jared was talking about that he wanted a way to actually draw simple vector lines inside Cartoon Animator. And I said like, you can kind of do that already uh, using the external programs. So if we go into create and I've got Inkscape attached as my vector editing software so I can go launch new object going to Inkscape and this is probably the only downside of this approach is that it takes a while for your external software to fire up so here we go Inkscape's fired up and I'm going to size this so that we can see that this is actually linked to Cartoon Animator so expand the screen and we're going to draw a pretty much just a straight vector line right we'll click keep it straight enter and that gives us our line it's two points straight line we'll go into fill and stroke and we don't want any fill stroke make sure it's black and stroke style i'm going to make it 10 pixels because i found when i originally did this my five pixels was not quite enough so we do 10 pixels so we get a decently thick line here and make sure it's a solid line i think that's it so we can just go file save the over in cartoon animator asks us how we want to save that we want it as a prop and you'll see there it is on the ground we've got this nice vector line and if we wanted to we can do keep doing updates to this and it will work if i wanted to make it say a dashed line and then i save that now you'll see it's become a dashed line but I don't want that so I'm going to change it back save it again and since I'm finished with creating my prop I'm going to close this down right the next thing we have to do is position Ren so that in the 
position of holding a skipping rope. Do that first. Want to make his hands so that they're holding stuff. He's got bone hands, so got both hands selected. Say so this hand. So the thumbs out a bit. It's not hugely important this demonstration that it looks like he's properly holding anything. There we go. And I might just turn his head slightly. Going to be skipping and kind of looking at us. So there we move his eyes down a bit. All right. Next thing we're going to put the rope in his hand checking where it is on the z axis is on zero and ren is at zero also so i'm going to move the rope lightly in front to begin with so it's in front of him and we're going to start resizing the rope is sort of roughly in his hands and then i'm going to link the rope to one of his hands so that if we move him around at all the rope will move with him now going to the 2d prop editor 2d key prop prop key editor to the deform tab and you'll see we've got these sort of um this is actually a grid but because it's a line you can't really see the grid and all i'm going to do is select these middle ones and stretch the rope and I'm going to stretch them down a little bit more so it's under his feet there is when it's going to hit the ground and we're just going to make sure the edges are actually touching his hands like so i might just bring this back so that the starting frame is about there now we're going to open up the timeline and select just this prop and all i'm going to do is create four keys make this prop go spin around at the moment i'm going to do each key every um, 40 frames just so that it goes nice and slow and we can see what's happening 40 80 is the opposite to what this one is i'm going to move it around up here that's about there 40 that's going to be coming around the back that's about there do with being a lot wider do with being a lot higher 80 I'm going to go 120 bring that down to about there maybe and at 161 i'm going to copy my first frame and i'm going to bring animation length selected length down to 160 see my marker over here is at one going to be at 160 and then i'm just going to play the animation see how that looks on a loop might come in a bit closer so we can see it better not particularly smooth and you'll notice the line disappears I think at that point we could go maybe a bit wider see how that looks. this could be a bit wider maybe down a bit more I think maybe my first and last frames could probably do with being a little bit more stretched out as well so There you go, with just four keyframes on the timeline, we've got something that kind of looks like a skipping rope. You can view that size, just see what it looks like quickly. And you'll notice all of that is staying in front of the character no matter where you is the rope is so we need at this point the rope to be going behind him so we'll have to and at this point the rope needs to be behind his feet here so on this keyframe need to make it minus one next keyframe 
still at minus one that's coming in front of him on this keyframe this one here needs to be in front so we got to bring it up to one keyframe here oh z is still on minus one that one there oh z is back to minus one that's in front of him sure it stays in front of him there and this one we want to go minus one again one behind him there so make that one all right see what that looks like Now that I've got that work, I'm going to do collect clip so that I can adjust the speed of it. So, so I'm going to add it to the action menu. Right. So what we're going to do is remove object animation so that nothing is happening with that rope at this point. And then we're going to apply that action. There we go. Now we can adjust the speed of that by selecting the motion. See what it looks like. 40. That's looking pretty good. All we got to do now is make the character look like he's actually jumping a skipping rope. At this point, he would probably be up in the air. Like him. Go for the 2D character editor. The rope should move with him. There we go. At this point he's actually going to be in the air. We might have to adjust the rope on him a little bit. Unlock his feet and then bring him up. And at this point bring him back down. Fix up the rope a little bit. You can see it's come away from his hand. To his hand there. Just quickly play that. Back to the 2D editor, we need to straighten his feet up. We'll play that one. Alright, some other things we can try. Because he's going up here, I want his arms to go up and down. Going down. See what that looks like. Alright, I believe I can fix this rope up just by with adjusting the deform keys. Giving the rope some thickness because at the moment all bunched up and narrow. 
Hopefully at this point everything's bunched up narrow again. And I'm going to have to do the same thing with the other hand. The rope attached on there. We really wanted to do it right. This guy should be shutting his eyes at about this point. And it's not perfect, like the physics are probably all wrong, it's just um, my idea of how the physics probably would work. I'm sure they'd, I could do a lot more with that to fix them up, but generally I think you'll agree that's a pretty reasonable uh, effort at making a character jump a rope without using any other sort of software creator, and most of my time was spent on actually animating the character rather than the rope so much. So hopefully you found that demonstration interesting. I know it probably went a little bit fast in places and was perhaps a little bit confusing as to exactly what I was doing, but hopefully you got the gist of it. And if this is something you'd like to do with one of your own characters, you can sort of take this video and work out what I did. If not, just leave some questions in the comments below. But for now, I hope there's enough there so that if you want to create this kind of effect or something similar uh, I've given you sort of some pointers as to how to go about it so that's it for this video until the next one I'll see you later bye for now